So hello campers And what's me, Lockwood, doing out On a cold, wet, October morning Me! Me in the rain It's never been known Hang about I'll tell you what's going on So yes, end of October Forecast has been rain all week I knew it was going to rain But I suppose I'm prepared I've got my gear on I'm dry, I'm warm What more could you ask for? So why I hear you ask him out this morning Well I'm actually commuting To work not through choice, to be fair I have to get to work And I don't have a car Because My car has packed in And I'm raging So I've got a 2017 Renault Scenic, which is the new Mark IV version Lovely car, beautiful looking car, and in my opinion there is nothing like it on the road Comes with 20 inch alloy wheels as standard With all the toys Beautiful looking thing, always get comments on it when I'm out And The only Shipped them to the UK for a couple of years They weren't the most popular Car in the world Simply bef because everybody's buying SUVs Nobody's really buying people carriers So it was never really that popular Which is a shame Because it's a beautiful looking car Anyway Back to the story So I was Quite happy with it I joined the Facebook forum the Facebook group And I had people saying I must have loved it But we had more people saying They had major issues with it There was always freaky with the electronics There was stuff going on with the brakes There was Issues with the radio Issues with it connecting Issues with it even starting and I was the first one to stick my hand up and say Hey, I love mine And I've never had any issues with it Until about two weeks ago When I was driving to work And I heard this kind of Whirring noise And I thought, oh no Is that Is that coming from the wing mirror? Is it coming from one of the wheels? Where is that? And as days went on It gradually got worse And worse and worse and I thought I must have a wheel bearing out So I took it to my local garage Said Raymond Could you have a look at this for me please mate I think I've got a wheel bearing going And he said Really? Already? Your car's only four years old I says, I know But have a look for me anyway So he had a look And he phoned me up that day, later that day and said Robert The wheel bearings are fine mate The noise is coming from your gearbox And I was like, what? You're having a laugh My car has only done 33 thousand miles It can't be the gearbox It's the gearbox I would take it back to Renault And I said But my warranty's ran out He said, oh don't worry, they'll fix it 
Fuck it. So I phoned up Renault, or the Renault dealer in my area, which is Parks. Explained the situation. And the lovely lady on the phone said to me, We'll book you in for a one hour slot, sir, to try and diagnose the issue, to see if it is the gearbox. So that will be £118.80. I was like, what? For one hour? But, I had to do it. Because I had to diagnose the issue with Renault, at a Renault dealer's, so I could find out what my next steps were. So, I paid my £118.80. And the lovely lady phoned me back later that day and she said Well sir, we've diagnosed an issue with your gearbox I said, oh, now there's a surprise Now for us to find out what the actual issue is with your gearbox as it is a sealed unit we have to remove the gearbox and troubleshoot Now for that sir we reckon we need about six hours labour at a cost of £656 and then once we diagnose what the issue is we can then take it further and give you a full cost of the repair <laughs> Well that's exactly what I did down the phone I was like, no you're fine hen, I'll just come and pick it up. So I went to get the car, picked up my keys and I said to the lady, can I speak to your service manager please? Yes sir, certainly. So she took me into Peter's office and I had a nice little chat with Peter, who was a lovely man, explained a lot of things to me, told me what it could be, what it might not be. I explained that my service plan had just expired but it had a full dealer's history at this dealer's. I explained that my warranty from Renault had run out back in November. Surely Renault would fix it out of courtesy. I mean it's one of their cars that's only done 33,000 miles. That's not what you would say, the lifespan of a gearbox. It has to obviously be an issue with the manufacture of the gearbox. So anyway, he said, yes, yes, you've got a case, you've got a case. We'll log it with Renault UK, and if you do the same, and we can join forces and see what we can do. So yes, Renault UK did come back to me, and they explained we understand, sir, that the issue is with the gearbox and as you are out of warranty, as a, as a figure of goodwill, we will consider repairing your car, but first we need to diagnose the issue. So you will have to pay your 660 odd pounds, whatever it was, to the dealer to diagnose the issue and then we will decide if we think we are prepared to pay for it and I was like nah you're alright so needless to say I have now sold the car I ain't putting up with that I am never buying a rental again I'm never buying a rental again ever that's two I've had and two I've had issues with So at the moment, I don't have a car, but I am hoping I need fuel. Oops, should be alright. But I'm hoping I'll have something in the next week or so. Yes, I sold the car, but I sold it with the gearbox fault, and I've lost about a thousand pounds on the value of it. But to be honest, 
If a gearbox fails at 33,000 miles you then think to yourself what else is going to fail on this car? I pay a thousand pounds, what goes next? So as far as I'm concerned it may be a nice looking car but I ain't doing it, I ain't putting up with that and I ain't living with that. So here we go, let's find out what we get for our next car. And now I'm going to work. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that little charade. What's your issues being with cars? Let me know. Is it just me that gets problems with cars? Does everyone get issues? I remember I had an old 3 Series Beamer that I bought with 98,000 miles and I sold it with 220,000 miles on it and it never let me down. I had to change brakes, I had to do the usual stuff, uh, wear and tear stuff, but it never let me down. Started first time every time. I know there's cars out there that can do that. Just don't buy a Renault. Okay, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider if you like what you see. It's worth doing it. And don't forget to ding the little bell so you will get notifications when I post a wee vid. And give me a wee like if you liked it. Or pff, if you didn't. Okay, I'm off ski. Car troubles. Maybe next time you see me, I'll have something better. See ya. Lockwood out.